Now, how do you stop works of art being copied and fakes hitting the market? Well, one of London's leading art framers has come up with a unique solution. So, could his device have foiled master forgers of the past? Jim Weeble's been finding out. Will you do a palm up for us? I'll try. What will you do? Whatever you ask me to do. His speciality was forging the works of Samuel Palmer, a renowned painter. Lewisham-born Tom Keating, who died in the 80s, is labelled the most important forger of the modern age. But there's a different kind of con putting off buyers nowadays. Well, what, what sort of glass have we got? Here? At this top-end framers, they're mounting limited edition Grayson Perrys. And it's the online limited edition market that's proving attractive to the criminals. By their nature, they're repeatable. That's the idea. The idea that it, of a multiple is that the image can be reproduced 100 or 200 times. Of course, that does open up the opportunity for forgeries to infiltrate the market. So a team of designers have come up with this, Tag Smart. To label it, the artist turns it over on its back. Steve Cook is one of the brains behind the technology. The ink is virtually invisible and can only be forensically identified. Every label is registered on a database, plus they have their own fingerprint. One of the security ingredients is a DNA compound, and that's the same biological compound that doctors and the police use to identify individuals. And we take that degree of complexity and build it into a very fine label. Can't you just peel it off? If you peel it off, you destroy all the security elements in it uh, and would render it useless. The global art market is expected to make annual sales of $100 billion by 2020. Proud owners may sleep a little easier, knowing genius forgers may not have it quite so easy. Jim Weeble, BBC London News. Tomorrow's weather.